the first thing we do is we go to this website. You can probably find it in your search engine if you type this in. Once we go on it, Mount Dream, then you want to log in, but you can't because you don't have an account. You make new account. You fill this out. You will get a email verification code. You register now, and then it will probably give you a download button already. If you miss the download button, you can just log in. If you miss the download button, you can log in and then click on download game. I put it in a new folder I made under my home folder that I call games. And then we open Steam. After opening Steam, we click on library, add a game, add a non-Steam game. We click on browse. I go to my games folder where I put the setup the X file, um, add selected programs. And then it should show up here. But before we click on it, we select right click properties, compatibility, forced use of specific. And we select the latest stable in this case, Proton 9. Close it. And we run it. Then if you haven't used Proton yet, it might uh, install Proton first before this and give you a... This is probably in Spanish because my system is in Spanish. That's probably why. Then we click continue. You can put this somewhere else. No, wait, I think you can't. It will put it into the .steam folder in your home directory. So I just know it works this way. Install. Um, we actually Proton has DirectX, I think, so we can just close this. And there's also Bing afterwards, but I don't want this. And then yes, terminate. And then this should pop up and it should start downloading your game. And it will download into the .steam folder in your home. If you're looking for where it's being installed, it's under .steam. You only see this if you enable uh, show hidden files in folders. Debian installation, Steam apps, comp data. And then it will be in one of those. But the number will be different for you. If you have multiple, because maybe you used Proton before, um, then you can just sort by modification so you know which one it is. And if you've never used it before, then there will probably just be one. And then it will be here. Drive C. There it is. Empty the dream. That's where your files will be. So well, now by the end of it, it will look like this probably. And you click play. And then you need to log in. This setup here is pretty laggy. So the keystrokes appear very slow. So you log in and you need to put your settings, resolution and so on. You make a character. But then you leave the game. If you start up the launcher again, it will just give you this again. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to add a game, add a non-Steam game. And now you need to go to this location where this is. So dot Steam, Debian installation, Steam apps, comp data, and then this is the one that I found is the number for me, for you it will be different. Drive C, 
empty the dream. I keep calling it Mount Dream. It's wrong. It's Menmas Terra, I think it's called. Sorry about that. I also forgot to enable the cursor in the beginning. And then we select empty the dream dot x select add selected program and we also need to make sure that this runs in compatibility same way auto 9 and whatever you do do not delete this do not do not remove this from the library here in steam because if you do it will delete this entire folder where you just installed your game and you will have to redo everything. That's what happened to me, which is why I made this video. And then you, if you want to play, you start this one. And then you get to the launcher and you can play. And that was it. I would say that the game runs just as good or bad as the original Terra. So... Yeah, that was it. And maybe see you in the game. <laughs>